Yeah, well, Alex and uh, and Kuz have been playing exceptional basketball, you know, all all since the beginning of the restart. Um, you know, we were struggling with the starting unit at, at that point. We called a timeout. Um, we didn't put a dent in their in their run. Uh, so, you know, we subbed those, subbed those two guys in, bring us some energy. Um, they helped turn the game around, but really AD down the stretch of the third quarter uh, really carried us, uh, carried a bulk of the scoring load, and uh, we were able to get right back in the game despite that early third quarter run by the Clippers. Frank, how would you compare the atmosphere between the team and the seeding or the uh, scrimmages, and then just how that differs from the regular season game that you're used to? What, what was the atmosphere like? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's still uh, it, it, it's still far more quiet than we're used to with uh, with our fans, it's particularly a home game or a game of this magnitude. Um, you know, when we play these games in LA, but it definitely you know was more intense and more meaningful uh, than the scrimmages by far. Frank and Steve, I wondered if you could walk us through um, what you got out of LeBron on that possession where he's able to follow up his shot and put the go ahead bucket in, and maybe speak to his defense tonight too. Yeah, well, uh, you know, that possession right there, we didn't want to call a timeout and, and give them the ability to sub. So, um, you know, he's been great in that situation, uh, targeting the defender that he wants to go at. Uh, got to the paint, got a good look, and, uh, you know, I, like you said, just followed his shot. A great competitive spirit play. And, you know, his defense on the last possession obviously helped uh, secure the game. But all throughout, you know, he's been, he, was, uh, he was terrific on the ball, and, and as always, uh, just a quarterback of our defense with his voice calling out coverages. Allie? All righty. Kyle Goon, please. Frank, um, you talked, I mean, obviously you're wearing this pin right now. You talked to us uh, earlier today about John Lewis and, and a lot of your feelings about some of the social justice movement going on. What did it feel like to take part in that demonstration during the national anthem today? Yeah, I was proud to do it. I'm proud to support our players, proud to support the African American community, um, you know, and, and proud to support racial, racial justice. You know, um, we've got uh, the, the greatest country in the world, but, uh, but we're flawed, you know, and, uh, you know, protesting the way we did, you know, is patriotic. Nonviolent protests are patriotic. You know, that's what we learned from John Lewis. And, um, you know, for, for me to be able to be a part of that, um, you know, just to support racial justice the way we did, I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of it. It's not about disrespecting the flag or the military. Uh, nobody supports the military as much as the NBA with the programs that we have. You know, it was just uh, something I was proud to be a part of. Mark Medina. Hey, Frank, um, with just all the different elements with this game, first game since March, and the different runs, the, the whistles. What did it take for the team to fight for those things? <laughs> yeah, it's unusual. You know, we're, we're far from a finished product. Um, you know, it's still a lot of habits and disciplines we have to, to recreate. But, you know, this, this group all season has had a great competitive spirit uh, to, to fight through off-the-court adversity. And then, like we saw tonight, when, uh, when the Clippers went on a run, uh, had us on the ropes uh, a little bit there. Uh, with how well they were shooting the ball in the third quarter. Um, we had the competitive spirit and the resolve uh, to fight back in it. Go ahead, Tanisha. Michael Duarte. Hey, Frank, two quick questions for you. First, um, did it feel cyclical that you started the season against this team back in October? Your last win was against them before the postponement, and then you opened the NBA restart against them? And second part, very quickly, was there any emphasis on uh, if, if you win this game, you pretty much take the number one seed overall and then can kind of fine tune and tweak from there for the rest of these seeding games? Well, uh, I guess it was a little bit cyclical. I mean, you know, we just know that, uh, you know, the, the, the opening night, the, the way these two teams are built, um, you know, they're both championship caliber teams in the same city. So we know there's going to be a lot of uh, drama around that, and it's it's great for the league to see these two two franchises go head to head. Um, you know, and in terms of the the number one seed, we still have work to do. But this that's not what these eight seeding games is about for us. You know, we have a lot of work to do uh, to make sure we're playing at a level that's going to win for us in the playoffs, and um, you know that's going to be our focus. Yeah, coach. Yeah, uh, coach. I was. 
Was that the best game you've seen Kyle Kuzma play defensively, and, and how important is he in really a playoff atmosphere where you might go small more than often for him to play that type of defense? Yeah, he was, uh, he was exceptional tonight. You know, he's had some other strong performances, I felt like, this year, so, so I don't know if it was the best. It's right up there uh, with one of those. But in particular, when he was switched on to Kawhi, had some, some really good possessions, helped us get stops. So uh, he works really hard on that end. You know, certain matchups are, are more favorable for him. But, um, you know, he was terrific tonight. And, you know, like you said, when we go AD at the five, you know, if he can perform like that on the defensive end, we're going to win a lot of games. All right, last question, Joe Burden. How much of Uh, it's really a team game, you know, in my mind, you know, those two are going to compete uh, at a high level against each other. You know, I don't, I don't know if you can win an individual matchup uh, within a, a team sport like this. Uh, so really, you know, it's, uh, it's not really about that to me. You know, it's, it's about the Clippers competing against the Lakers and our team prevailing. Oh, so we have one more. We have Bill Warren. Okay, Bill. Hey, Frank. Uh, thanks. I'm just wondering, you know, we talked about the level you guys were at when everything stopped in March. Um, first game back, did it feel like the guys were still playing kind of at that at that same level in spite of everything, or, or did you feel like there was it was still um, you're still a little behind that pace? Yeah. Well, you know, we'll have to look at the tape, but uh, to me, it feels like we have a long way to go to reach you know the uh, the habits and the disciplines that we were playing with. Uh, when we entered the hiatus. So, um, you know, obviously we did enough to get the win, but uh, we had a lot of work to do.